Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in TNO, The Last Days of Europe, playing as, right now, Gross Germanisches Reich. Uh, cool. So normally I show you the beginning of, like, me selecting the country and showing you custom game rules. Everything's set to default. There's no historical AI focuses on because you can't choose that in TNO. But if you'd like to read the, about the brown eminence, go right ahead. In my dictionary, duty is written into capitals. So as you might be able to tell from my thumbnail, uh, we are going to hopefully go down a particular path, uh, in this campaign. Also, I... Mostly didn't re for the real reason why I didn't show you the beginning is just because I wanted to organize my military like how I have it organized right now. If you want to read about the Gilded Reichsmarschall, then go right ahead about him and Gallring. Uh, and uh, we'll do it against Romania because we love Romania, right? We love Romania. We have an, uh, some outdated equipment, including a ship. Doesn't really matter where we're going. It's not going to matter what really happens because, like I said, we want to go down a particular path. Now this isn't going to be a long German campaign. Alright, um, but we do want to plan things out. Basically, we want to get, uh, Heydrich, which will pop up here very soon. Just because this is one of, this is about Spia, the Reich's architect. If you want to read about that, go right ahead. But I want to do Heydrich for Germany just because he has one of the shorter paths for Germany. So, this is just one of the campaigns I'll do about Germany, choosing one of the four people that will win eventually the Civil War. So... I wanted to really play Hadris just because I want a little shorter campaign in TNO. But if you want to read about, oh, the, the Reich's last conquest, the final frontier, here we go. We have landed on the moon. Glorious. We have no focus right now. We can't do any focuses because we have, well, we've met on the moon. But that's pretty much it. Uh, if you want to, actually, did you, if you really wanted to read about the focus we did, a man on the moon, I guess I selected it earlier. Go right ahead. Um, I'll read the rest of these. It's just the first one I'm not going to read just because I forgot about it. Uh, it's headed by the brilliant Venna von Braun, which is great. And we have the Blonde Beast. We want to become the Blonde Beast. There's no problem which the Gestapo cannot solve. Man on the Moon. Great. Uh, let's see. Convene the Reichstag. Enemy of my enemy. Uh, let's go ahead and convene the Reichstag. So, today we mark another milestone in history of the Gross Germanische Reich. The opening of the 1962 Reichstag. A grand ceremony, the annual opening of a Reichstag has become one of the most lavish affairs across the entire Unity Pact, with delegations of subjugated peoples coming from all across our vast empire together in Germania to hear the Führer address the NSDAP as we celebrate yet another glorious year. Needless to say, the opening of the Reich 1962 Reichstag will be the grandest yet. So, basically, oh, so an assassin strikes a Führer. If you want to read this, that's really not good. Our scars are exposed to the world. If you want to read that, go right ahead. Just with this mod, I just don't read um, anything that happens. If you want to read about the Adler, which is really cool, hoist the Reichskriegsflagge. The reason I don't read the events in this mod is because there's so much lore, which is awesome, but I won't be able to get through the, these, you know, episodes that quickly if we if I stop and read everything here. So that's really why I don't read the events. But I still let you guys read it if you if you would like to. So, uh, oh, Mr. H addresses the nation. Uh, Gunther. Okay, Gunther. Uh, let's see. The conservative Martin Bowman. Who do we want? Uh, convene the Reichstag. Well, we really want the the butcher. The butcher for this campaign, which I think does change our focus tree. There we go. Select our focus. The butcher. Within the Führer's proclamation of Reichsführer SS Reinhard Heydrich, a successor public. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, public opinion is firmly united against this choice, with only the most diehard Schutzstaffel lunatics publicly supporting Hadrich's bid. I really wonder if I'm going to be able to monetize this video at this point. As an extremely controversial choice, Herr Hadrich has little to non-existent support in Germany, with much of his support coming from Ordenstadt Burgund and Norex for SS Heinrich Himmler. As the Führer's health worsens, Herr Hadrich may must move quickly to annihilate those who dare oppose and secure the Reich for himself and the Black Order for the SS. Oh, mein Gott. Crushing protesters. I love crushing protesters. In the aftermath of the Fierro's announcement, the Fatherland has experienced a sharp increase in the amount of anti-government and pro-reformist acts of protests, along with the veracity of said protests. To secure the Fatherland, we must permanently halt the spread of ideals counter to that of National Socialism. As a result, we must show no mercy towards the protesters as they themselves have exposed their anti-government leanings. They must and will be crushed. We shall open fire against those who want open rebellion. And, oh yeah, divert infantry equipment. Um... Now, I don't know a whole lot about this power struggle, but I do know that we want the bigger number. Our power is minuscule. If you want to read about the meaning with the dude, TikTok, TikTok, his condition gets worse, which is not good. But regarding the power struggle, we need to make sure that we have a higher number. Victory in this conflict may bring advantages where the situation is 
where the situation to further deteriorate. Influence points may be spent on several buffs for our faction. However, it would be unwise to spend all at once, as the remaining influence points could affect our starting position if the worst comes to worst. Student prone tests intensify. Wah. Wait. No. Cool. Tick tock, tick tock. And we're going to look for opportunities. We could divert infantry equipment, but we're going to wait. The student revolt. So... If you want to read this, this will be fine. The action hasn't been limited to Aachen, with both protesters and overzealous or Orbolt officers across the country taking up arms and inspiration. Most of the largest cities in the Reichstown look like a war zone, which with condemnation, protests, and fellowship reaching as far as Muscovine. Oh, that's cool. Anyways, um, before we go too far, I do have to make sure that we do look at the economy just a little bit, as well as guns. We're going to need a lot of guns for where we're going, son. Uh, do that as well. We're going to need more of this. Actually, go down to one. Come to one as well. Let's see. We need a lot of Panzer Shreks. Which would be very nice. Eh, go down to 15. That would be good enough. We need more motorized. We're trying to get main battle tanks. Other than that, we're trying to get some helicopters. Which, eh, we can lower that by a little bit for now. I do want APCs. We're making Hindenburg class ships. This is basically what I devolved the Navy into. This is why I waited and just started... I started this... Recording this. I can't speak. I'm sorry. I started recording this after I organized all this together to think what I think is the best possible navy that we can make. So I went to the Hindenburg. Was this a battleship? I made the battleship. And we're making Mokta class light cruisers. So just those two. I'd like to get some of this up, but I haven't done it yet. Uh, that being said, I have to get to the this. Now, right now, we have a big old national debt. Bigger than our GDP, which is not good. I don't I hate that. If you if you know me, I hate debt so much. Now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna decrease military spending because we don't need it right now. Who cares? We can't even build anything really. I'm gonna Get rid of my liquid reserves, which is basically nothing. My goal, before the Civil War breaks out, is to get our national debt below our actual total GDP, which might not happen at all. Uh, I don't want to spend any more money for now, like there. I could cut civilian spending, but we're not going to do that right now. What I do want to see what happen, though, is us to build up here in the Moselin, maybe Alsace Lothringen, just, just because that's probably a good idea for us. No, no real reason why, just... I think that would be for the best. And we gotta make sure that we don't spend too much of our points here, because 10 isn't very much, so, compared to everyone else. I, I really want to actually decrease civilian spending so we can help our debt, but debt, I don't think would really matter too much. If we do decrease it, we get less consumer goods. Actually, do we get any consumer goods anyways right now? We're... Hmm. If I decrease this by how much? 15%. It's currently 8%. Decrease it. Uh, we could decrease it to get more money for now. Well, until I can increase civilian construction stuff, it won't matter. Go and do that. And if you want to read this, it's a great Bulgarian game. So this is a little game that we can play against Italy for to influence Bulgaria. So basically, you want to get a score of 10. If you go higher, and if Italy goes higher, then you want the highest number. If you get above 10, and Italy does not go above 10, then you lose. So right now we have a score of 9. That's pretty good. That's pretty high. So we probably would just want to hang out. If we do this, we have a 20% chance of getting a 10, which is not good in my mind. So just hang out with 9 for now. Crush the protesters. Open fire. If you'd like to read this, we live in a brave new world. Go right ahead as I'm going to read about smiling besides Hitler. To show not only that the party, but the nation that Herr Hedrich is worthy of the Fails proclamation, we must show the population that we do indeed have the Fears approval and therefore legitimate. Therefore we shall smile besides the Fuhrer and present Herr Hedrich as a loyal national <clears throat> socialist dude who truly... Represents the Führer's political, oh boy, will and testament, and a man who can cure, truly lead the Reich into glory once more. Absolutely. Totally. Uh, what do we have here? Options. Uh, let's see. Open diplomacy. Oh yeah, we can open fire. Uh, so for this stuff, Bormann, Goring, Spear, they're going to constantly get higher numbers. We have to be careful about how, how much numbers we get. So, it won't be very good for us. And then, uh, disaster avoided. Art of diplomacy. Well, if you want to read that, go right ahead. Open fire. We live in a brave new world. Disaster averted. Cool. When can I go pew pew pew? We can do strategic fort building, which actually will be really important for us. Probably, I'm probably going to do that since this is going to be the main area we're going to defend. Eventually, when the civil war starts, we will get like eastern Prussia, but we really that's going to be kind of a suicidal run, just holding out here in Königsberg because then we have to break over to Wilhelmshaven to even unite with them. So it, it's it's going to be a mess. Let's be real. It's, it's just going to be a mess. Ooh, construction. I'm actually going to increase the construction budget because we don't spend that much on it anyways, and we need to build now. So this is what I was doing earlier. Just go ahead and combine everyone into one fleet. That's good. Under someone we don't care about right now. Uh, there you go. Bloody foot, and if you want to read about him, deserters get no mercy from him. Good. Do that. And train. 
it really won't matter too much, honestly. Uh, three guys over here too, that's fine. Put you under Durnitz or something, no one cares. Level 8, Jesus Christ, that's awesome. That's actually really awesome. Does it get no message from him? Good. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, send over additional guards. A day of remembrance. Bedanka das Enda. Oh no! Goebbels. He's passed away, has he? Oh no! Oh man, that sucks. I wish he could have been a general or a leader of... Actually, that would have been really interesting if he became leader. Nine, good. Don't touch. Don't touch that. Don't touch that at all. Bedanka das Enda. He's... Mr. H is in poor health. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, I'll probably get Strategic Fort building. Yeah. We'll see what happens, though. 35. They'll probably end up getting 10 somehow. Alright, let's keep an eye on this. Liquid Reserves, just almost a billion. See? Almost a billion. Not bad. I could invest it in GDP instead of paying off debt, but mm, I don't know. That, G that GDP growth is pathetic. We are, like, in a recession, right? That's either a recession or even depression. No, that's probably recession levels. Cool. Construction. Uh, you know what? I'm going to invest more in construction, too. If you want to smile, go ahead and read about that. But we're going to do mobilizing the SS with the fearless choice to appoint Reichswehr SS Heidrich as a successor. It's clear that he truly desires a national socialist state under the management of the Black Order, although he may happen to disagree. To ensure our legitimacy remains intact, we must make the first move in this nationwide game of chess. We have to make the first move. Therefore, it's time to mobilize the Jewish staff and prepare the way for Heidrich's fearless ship. God. You know, I'm going to let you guys know tomorrow. If I... If I... I was able to monetize this video or not. It'd be very interesting to see if we could. Uh, let's see. Send over additional guards to cell 9. Oh. Oh. Otto Ernst Wehmer. Uh oh. The state needs an iron hand to guide it. We are Germany's iron fist. Oh boy. It's certainly a man to watch. An opportunist at best. Oh boy. He's kind of handsome, but you know, that's what most of them are. Hey, hopefully we won this first turn. Good. Strategic fort building, looking for... Oh, what do we need for this one? Oh, we're at the same level as Speer. Opportunities are still available. You know what? Let's go ahead and do this one, just because I know we're going to need it. That's fine. We're going to need those forts, probably because we're going to be actually a very small state. Luckily, we'll be next to this group over here. But, unfortunately, we have the Führer's Museum. Um. Oh. His body tightened up, and he staggered into the right-hand podium. Ooh. Jerked. H's arms violently jerked out and his head snapped forward, slamming into the marble podium with a sickening crack. A gasp of horror exploded from the audience as the Fiora crumpled to the floor, blood pouring from his forehead, arms and legs still wreathing. Owen screamed a yellow man to curse. Uh, Mish was yelling at the crowd to stay back. Borman rushed forward, slipped on the blood with a yell, staggering into Schaub. Brand turned H onto his side and expected the wound on his forehead. It was just a cut. The doctor shot Schaub a glare with, as the uproar reached a fevered pitch. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. So we need to get at least seven here. So how can we fake the riots? One to six. Two to four. Two to four. Um, Honestly, I'm going to go with one of these four. Mobilize a garrison. That'd be good. We won the first top, the first turn, which is pretty good for us. Let's look for opportunities. We want those immediately. Ooh, mobilize. If you wonder about dark eyes, go right ahead. A traffic, tragic oversight oh, that will repair. Goring. There's no need. It would be a waste. Good. If you wonder about the dark eyes... The oldest and strongest emotion of mankind is fear. Fear leaves in Hadrish, nestled close to his heart. It beats in tandem, composing a vile rhythm. All Hadrish knows is fear. He fears the children. He fears the soldiers. He fears his own fear. His preparations cannot alleviate his terror. They embolden it. And now we shall deploy the hair. To succeed in our mission of successfully promulgating the supremacy of the Schutzstaffel to the Wehrmacht, the time has come to strategically redeploy the hair to benefit the rise of the SS. By conducting this seemingly strange maneuver of men, we shall further secure the position of the Schutzstaffel with regard to eventually becoming the Reichsmann fighting force. Our opponents and the hair can whine and whine all they like, though it won't change a god dang thing. Oh. God, I'm going to get too interested in this. Hey, not bad. Still, come on, growth. Uh, how much? We're spending a little bit. Deficit's not bad. I'm going to continue increasing construction. Because we need factories here. We have to get factories here now. We don't, we have like a year left before probably Mr. H kicks the bucket. So we got to be prepared. We could divert infantry equipment, but we're going to hang out for now. We don't need it. We only have 20. Com Actually, we have more support than... Okay, we had more support than spare. Madagascar requests medical equipment. Uh, if you want to read this, go right ahead. But we are going to send equipment to Madagascar because we don't want to lose Rex Commissariat Moscovine. Moscovine? No, we would not want to lose Moscovine. But Madagascar would be very bad to lose as well. 
it would be unfortunate if there was a republic to pop out or a little you know the Jewish nation there to pop out as well as well as just a civil war down there a four-way civil war that wouldn't be very good for them all right so where are we at six there's seven uh, is there anything for four six Ooh, uh, four spark of fire let's try let's try we'll see what happens get Bulgaria to declare a state of emergency if we lose this one that's okay we still have another chance to try I'm glad I caught this before I stopped looking at this I love looking at the economy tab so much now uh, uh, tactics I should have shown you what I researched earlier but whatever uh, only 800 billion or million now Hey, the growth is 300 million. We're getting better. It's getting better, just a little bit. I, I did the maneuver warfare. We already have maneuver warfare research, so I did Schwerpunkt tactics, which is good. And we're going to do the massive bombardment as well, just to get it over with. Just, you might as well get it over with now. Uh, 300 billion. Brazil wins the World Cup. Mongolian Civil War, if you want to read that one. And uh, Brazil were, uh, wins the World Cup, and then the collapse will turn over it. Go right ahead. Uh, stop spending so much on the military. It means nothing to me right now, really. Um, let's see. We just lose division, organization, recruitment, population factor, attack, defense, output, dockyard output. I, I don't care about that. If anything, it, it means nothing right now just because we, we'll just, we're going to be a smaller Germany by the time uh, war breaks out. But I'm going to continue increasing the budget here. Redeploy the hair. Go ahead. Pressure, pressure the creed remain. We're going to intimidate the police or politicians. Regardless of race, creed, and ethnicity, politicians are all alike in one regard. They're all spineless lying cowards. It's Clear to Reichsfuhrer SS Heydrich that if we were to convince the Reich's uh, politicians to join us in our crusade against degeneracy and anti NSDAP sentiment, we must use intimidation tactics. We shall return to the olden days of intimidation that was successful decades prior as we first established our hold over the German nation. Yes, fear knows no bounds. Nine. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get him to two, one, or four. That's all we want. And right now, we could continue spending more money. Let me go ahead and do that. Oh, we don't have that many liquid reserves. Oh, boy. We could spend less money, but I don't want to hurt my consumer goods now. Yeah, we're not going to hurt our consumer goods. We actually are building military factories as well. That's really nice. I don't remember exactly how much we're actually going to get here when the war breaks out. Wipe in. I don't want to buff anyone that I'm not going to help out. I think we might get the Rhineland. We might get that. In any case, at least let us build up with infrastructure. That'll be good. Oh, actually, ra mm -hmm. radar could prove to be the, probably the most valuable thing that we could make right here, just because it gives you bonuses when attacking and defending. Oh no, they got no. Ah, they got that. Mm, you bunch of Italian peoples. Ah. I'm enjoying this too much, man. I'll be honest. Uh, so we lost that round, so be it. So we need three or less. One to five, one to four. There's a 75% chance we get three or less if we do aerial reconnaissance. I kind of want to wait and see first what they do here. Let's see. Do we have anything else? No, we do not. We have 20, 20, 25, 35. Not bad. Not bad. I, I'm going to definitely have to wait here to see what they're going to do. Yeah. I'm going to continue. Ooh, we could lower our construction budget, but that really doesn't matter. Military spending, liquid reserves, Soviet, whatever. Man, wh why did Germany spend so much money? Like, I don't remember the lore why they just spent so much. You have to have a balanced budget. A midnight call. Oh, no. The race has only just begun. Oh, oh, no. Oh, let's see. Oh, boy. I'm surprised he hasn't been hanged for his insolence yet. Hedrich replied coldly. That is all, Dr. Brandt. As for Speer, the SDA has uncovered an illicit affair between one of Speer's reformist technocrats and the Ministry of Economics and a university student with ties to radical liberal movements. Upon the leaking of the scandal, Gestapo agents will waste no time in spreading rumors that this affair is not an isolated incident and that the relationship between the party reformists and the liberal students is more than ideological. Without Hitler to hide behind, Speer would have to fend for himself. Intimidate the politicians. Expel the ambassadors. To truly reclaim the Reich from degeneracy, we must exterminate all aspects of foreign influence from within its borders. In accordance with this message, we have no choice but to expel the ambassadors of our opposition nation states who may eventually attempt to aid factions opposed to the SS as we continue to solidify our ever growing grip over the Reich. Gross Germanisches Reich. Whew, that's a lot to read. Liquid reserves, we don't get that much money. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get there in time. We can increase civilian spending, but we're good for now. I could. I, I, I really, actually, to be honest with you, I really want to, but I'm not going to do it. Seven. Oh, they're... Okay, we have to do this. How are they at ten? How? How, 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 how? You know what? If we get one or two, we can do that and then do launch propaganda. So let's do this. Look for opportunities. Good. Veterans demand their share. Speer's legitimacy. Everyone else's legitimacy. Yeah, let's do that one. 
because we gotta do whatever it takes to get more guys to our side. Bring heal out regiments to our side. We get two additional units. That's not bad. Actually, that's probably pretty good to do. But I just gotta make sure this is high enough. I do not want to be lower than Speer, which is actually surprising. Oh, what were they were just at eleven. I thought they were at eleven. No. All right, so we got another plane, which is good. Um, this one, I'm only use fighters in this campaign. It's researched already, which is good. We're researching that stuff, which is good. I'm not gonna use interceptors just because I I don't know about interceptors. If you think I should get interceptors, let me know in the comments below. But right now, for this campaign, it's gonna be one of the shorter campaigns using this mod. Uh, but I'm just not comfortable using them yet. Eventually, eventually, of course. All right, so what do we need if we were gonna really play? We need anti-air. We need main battle tanks. We need guns, we need motorized, basically all the stuff we're making. Oh, do we really need transport planes? Huh. Yeah. Hmm, interesting. What's we got here? Oh, we're so close. We're going to lose if we don't risk it, so let's risk it. We might get one, we might not. That's so sad. Italy, why Italy, why? Why must you treat me like this? <laughs> Annual deficit's not very good. Uh, why? Why is the growth so bad? What did you do, Germany? Why is military spending so high? Huh. Well, I, I mean, I understand why. I totally understand why. Come on. I'm really interested. Can we please get one? Do you think we can get one? We're gonna lose if we don't get one. Oh, we got two! <laughs> we got two. Why? Why did you do this to me? Oh, no. breaks my heart. You know, honestly, I don't really think we're even going to be able to get really Bulgaria under us, but you know, it is what it is. Expel the ambassadors. So be it. Good. Implicate the militarists. To successfully seize the apparatus of state, we must first do away with our opponents in the Wehrmacht, who continue to cause us considerable heartache. Given our unbroken control over the Reich's main security force or office, we have the capability to easily falsify evidence and issue arrest warrants with little resistance. Therefore, we shall recover supposedly lost documents which seem to implicate the Wehrmacht's hawks in a plot against the Reich. Five and four. Oh, crud. Uh, let's see, nothing yet. 25, 25, 35, 45. It is what it is. Let's see, 25, there, four. We need five. We get up to five there. Up to four. We can't do acquired support for the military. More than nine army XP. Oh. Did I not train you guys? I did. Oh, I thought I did. It's okay. Uh, let's see. Bribe administrators. We'll lose 100,000 from our... Oh. Why do I don't want to do that? One to four, one to five. Oh, one to four. They'll hurt us. Oh, uh, let's see what that. Attack German outpost. See what happens. Seven. Oh. Well, let's do one to five. A bigger number first. Why not? What else do we have here? Yeah, not much else we can really do with that. Liquid reserves. We don't have that much. Slowly trying to decrease. This. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. I'm spending too much money. I mean, annual deficit's looking pretty good, but still. Five to seven. Nothing down here still. 25, 25, which is good. It's better than when I tried this off screen earlier. And also, we, I wasn't training any divisions because we can't. We literally can't train any division here. It's all grayed out, as you can see. You can only view, like, the division templates. Like, infantry is, like, 18 copy width, which is not bad. Not bad at all. Panzer divisions are okay. They're not great. That's pretty low org. But, you know, it is what it is. Anything else here? Uh, strong arm. Oh, strong arm the opposition. What does that do? Oh, it's from here. Hey, look, 10. Hey, we got 10. There's no point to move. Hang on, this is going to make it really interesting, because we're pretty much probably going to win this turn. If that happens, turn 5 is going to be very interesting, and we're going to have to really keep an eye on it. Mm. What is this? Encourage protests? Oh, yeah. Keep trying. Oh, what happens if we both get 10? It's not possible, is it? Let's see. Let's by left-hand card, and the time's on the right-hand card. Uh, push too hard and 10 over. So both go over or stay at 10, and the higher value wins. Stay below 10. And equal effort means a draw. Please, AI, do not give me a win or 10. Italy wins a Italo Turkish war. Implicate the militarists. Peace in the Middle East, huh? Okay, well, cool. Next up, shoot the liberals. Just shoot them. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, don't strike me, please. With the announcement of Reichsführer SS Heydrich as a fiat successor, the loathsome and degenerates of the liberal movement have decided to intensify the protests over the past few months. All other attempts to halt the protests have been futile. Therefore, we must use more brutal methods. It's time that the Reich's liberals bite the non proverbial bullets with these traitors are to put down like the dogs they are. Oh, man. Look for us. Opportunities. Our men will take care of the situation. I don't want to help anyone else, so. We are just on equal level with Speer, which is the nation, I think, that will spawn up here near Wilhelmshaven, so if we can take Speer out quickly, 
we can rescue the divisions that will eventually be trapped here in East Prussia. Now, that might happen. We are hoping that happens, but there's no guarantee for that. It's going to be crazy when when things just go bonkers. Military austerity. Uh, no, no, they got ten. What are the chances? Probably twenty-five percent. Uh, going to decrease that because it doesn't really matter. Okay, three hundred and one billion. Has Burgundy finally done it? What does that madman thinks he's doing? The world waits with bated breath. The Burgundians have su successfully tested a nuclear device. Twice as strong as the one dropped on Pearl Harbor in 1945. Oh my goodness. I'm getting into this too much, man. I I'm really starting to enjoy this mod a lot. Now, I the neon stuff is okay. I'm getting used to it, but still, but I'm really enjoying this, man. I'll be honest, I'm really enjoying it. Also, like... I'm not choosing divert infantry equipment because I think we'll have an okay amount when we begin the war. I think it'll be okay. I really kind of wonder how the economy is going to, what's going to happen to the economy, once we uh, once the war starts. Like how much, how small is our GDP going to be? How much debt are we going to accumulate? Because I can get us out of debt. I mean, I am, I can be a slasher. I can be a big spender. Don't get me wrong. I spend a lot of money if I have it. But oh, look at this. All right, so here's a great game. We're on eight, eight. What? Oh, there's a 50% chance we get make it or we break it. Oh, for arrest known leaders. Oh god, two to six. Oh no, one to three. There's a. Oh, ah. I'm gonna wait to see what they do first. Oh, I don't like that. I really don't like that. Man, we spent so much on that. That's why I'm trying to spend more on civilian stuff. What are we actually building right now? We're building two lines of civilian factories, one military factory line, which is good, and then one line for radar, which is actually pretty good as well. Uh, when will that be done? Oh, we actually have level two radar already. Uh, that's not bad. Shoot, just just shoot them, right? Dissolve the Reichstag. The Reichstag, the diet of the gross Germanisches Reich, is a continual thorn in the side of the Reichswehr SS Heydrich and the Schutzstaffel as a whole. Given how it's a repressive, a representative body, it has the power to directly influence and challenge the government, something that its members aren't afraid to do, as shown with the diet's opposition to Herr Heydrich's appointment. Therefore, if we are to truly control the Reichs, we must dissolve the Reichstag as it's no longer necessary, oftentimes disrupting the work of government. Oh boy, what's going on here? Also, we have 48% stability, but no war support. Hmm. Of course, they would get nine. Of course. Of course. Well, it looks like we have no choice. Absolutely no choice. But we must choose either one or two. Now, what happens if we get equal numbers here? Turn five. No, we have to win. We have to win. All right. Um, one to three. Two to three. Oh, that's going to be a gamble. 50-50 right there. Do we go 50-50 or do we tie? If we tie, we lose. So basically, that's 66% chance we lose. There's a 33% chance we win doing call and reinforcements. I don't like 33% chance. If that's the case, the best bet is probably arrest known leaders. That's the highest chance that we have to win. We're probably going to lose. I'm sorry, but we're probably going to lose. Oh, why? Why do you pain me so why do you why do you pain me with debt oh why we're fighting for the very soul of germany why did you do this oh we're doing better on uh, a lot of things actually support equipment's looking nice panzer shrek's looking nice we need some more tanks but the tanks take forever anyways artillery's looking not too bad a trip to the tea house oh my goodness uh, at last car ride oh boy if you want to read this oh what happened he halted panting heavily Catch old man by shoulders as he collapsed backwards like a puppet without strings. His face was pale and covered in sweat. His breath was raspier than usual. He gently lowered him to the ground and turned him on the side, tearing off his own jacket to place under the Pharaoh's head in anticipation of a seizure. As suspected, Hitler's body soon began jerking uncontrollably. Oh, no, no, no. Messerschmitt. Uh, let's see. We need close air support. That's not close air support. This is close. That's a fighter. Close carrier cast. Trans oh, that's a transport plane right there. Interceptors. Where's my... Did I just... Oh, it's up here. Actually, I think we need transport planes, don't we? I forgot about these. No, that's attack helicopters. I think we need actual transport planes. Tactical bombers. Strategic bombers. Attack... Transport planes. There he goes. We can put you at the top, I guess, if we really need them. Cool. Let's get some research going. We got three things going. Overwhelming strikes. Sure, why not? Uh, combined blitz. Sure, why not? Because industry, we're pretty good until, like, 1965 in some areas, so... Oh, that's okay. And over here... Actually, this is a better radar. I love radar. I, I have a problem. 
Like, it's good to know that you have problems, but better. No, 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 a thousand times no. Of course we would lose. No. We had 11, we had a 50% chance of getting two. All I wanted was a simple two. The Italians, they cheated. They must have cheated. Oh my goodness, why? Oh, Koch severely injured a new in Kiev bombing. Oh, the second attempt on the life of a German leader this year. Martial law has been declared across Rex Commissariat in Ukraine. Troubling news from a troubled land. That's why we don't live there. Uh, that's disappointing. This is so disappointing. But but I honestly knew that would happen. The game doesn't want us to win. Only half a billion dollars in that? Uh, that's not good. I, I probably should honestly invest it more in GDP. But even then, it barely does anything for us. So Don't even think about coming back, you stupid American planes, with your U-2 spy plane. Hmm. I wonder if that ever happened in real life with America and another nation. Hmm. Hmm. Let's look for opportunities. All right. Rubicon, cool. If you want to buy that, go right ahead. Military budget review. We will invest in the economy. Spiaz legitimacy. Our enemies grow stronger every day. The budget remains. Funnel more money to the SS. Obviously, if you want to read this, go right ahead. We're going to funnel more money to the SS. If you want to read about Rubicon, by order of the Fuhrer, the Reichstag is dissolved effective immediately. Good. And we shall replace the garrisons. In the Reich's major metropo metropolitan areas, the Heer is entrusted with garrison duties, supposedly to keep the peace. Yet, in recent years, with the majority of the Reich's cities engulfed in protests and crime, they've clearly failed in the mission of order. Thereby, providing us with a casus belli, replace these failures with the proper national social no socialist men of the Schutzwaffel, who, unlike the Wehrmacht, will succeed in restoring order no matter what. You are disappointing Italy and Bulgaria, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. We still spend more on our military. I keep looking back at this just because it looks like something we can do. Oil's back by the... the oil is the lifeblood of the Empire. Cool. Well, we don't hate Italy. We just don't like Italy. Oh, yes. Even begin improving the infrastructure here. Yes, that is good. That is very good. Because once the war starts, what, we're gonna, what are we going to build? Forts? We might build forts, but if we can build roads now and we continue to increase the amount of factories we can have in a state... This just makes us able to build factories faster when we get there. And that's why I'm building radar, just because it's so useful. Uh, Devet instruments 35, 35, 45, 55. Bulgaria sides with Italy, those Italian bastards meddling in our affairs. <sighs> Italians. But honestly, this is looking pretty good. Tons of civilian factories. Students no, are no longer quelled, which sucks, but whatever. Uh, what are we missing? Transport helicopters. Oh, we're trying to make those. Oh, wait. Transport helicopters. And carrier fighters. Oh, carrier fighters. Actually, that's fine. Let's go ahead and grab some of the carrier fighters. That's good. I guess not transport planes, but carrier fighters. And, uh... I don't think... Do we even have helicopters? I don't think we even have transport helicopters. Where's that even under? Carrier cast? Close air support? This is transport plane. This is an interceptor, which we're not going to use. Attack helicopters... Strategic bombers, Arado, tactical bombers. We don't have it unlocked. Well, I should probably research to them. Research them. We're going to supply the Waffen, though. With a newfound influence over matters in the governance of the Reich, it is time we implement a policy of favoritism with regard to supply. In order to strengthen our position and the run up to the Fuhrer's eventual passing, it's time for us to allocate a greater amount of supply to the Schusthofel divisions, which will, of course, neg negatively impact our rivals in the Wehrmacht and establish where our loyalties lie. Good, good, good. Now we have that done, which is awesome. Then go ahead and do that as well, and then get rid of outdated equipment, such as Panzer Schreck 54 Eins. Cobra missiles. Thank you. And let's take a look at this. Pay off with half a billion for not too much. Because growing here really doesn't mean too much. As long as I can continue paying that down. But that's all the time for that we have today, my friends. If you enjoyed today's episode, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you tomorrow as we might end up in a potential civil war. Thanks a lot for watching and have a great rest of your day.